and good morning, everybody. How are you today? It is Wednesday. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are all here today. Um, I'm just glad you're here. I think that pretty much uh, says it all, doesn't it? So first off, we're going to do what we always do. I'm going to like myself. I'm going to go and check Twitch first and make sure that we are on the correct setting because sometimes it changes what my category is. Um, everything looks good here. Uh, let me take this off of emote. Um, emo oh. <coughs> Excuse me, emote only is off over there. So let's uh, make sure we are actually airing on Twitch. What is its boggle? It is being very, very persnickety this morning. There we are. We look good over there. Um, and now let me go ahead and share this over on the Twixverse and the Threadosphere. Um, to let you know, later tonight, uh, Dadman and I are we're going to be a day late only because um, of um, just family circumstance. Uh, but we are going to be doing a uh, stream later tonight um, celebrating the, the wonderful and majestic unicorn on Fortnite. So I um, hope to see you all there. Um, I believe it's going to be at 7 p.m. Um, so... Uh, Yes, I hope to see you there. Um, and we have got everything posted where we need to post it. Uh, this all looks good. Uh, so yes, uh, 7 p.m. tonight, um, we're going to celebrate National Unicorn Day. And um, I hope, like I said, I hope to see you all there. Comments, chat. We start off with Dead Man Walking. Morning, Mrs. Love you and have a great stream. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day at work. And I have 217 subs. Uh, thank you, everyone, for those subs. Uh, almost to 250. See, I don't see it as almost to 250. I see it as almost to 220. I love the optimism. We have Sci-Fi Mommy saying good morning and good morning to you and woohoo on the subs. We have Snorter Poopers, Cuber, Hello Humans and Other Critters. Hello to you this fine, fine morning. And yes, it's hump day for all you working stiffs. And we have some hellos and hellos. And uh, Damon is going to do a late night stream tonight. Uh, so, uh, guys, uh, keep your eyes open for that. I have Siri bot and stream elements over on Twitch and yes, celebrating a unicorn. That sounds very suspicious. Yes. Um, we have Penny. Hello. Hello to you. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to go right ahead and. start um, my show is um, sorry I saw Penny's comment and I was wondering if I was having problems with my stream um, but I think everything looks okay since I have a, um, a schedule change that my uh, build stream is going to be Today at 1 p.m. instead of tomorrow at 1 p.m. 
So because of that, I am going to um, go ahead and get this show on the road. So we are doing our puzzle today. Oh, first off, Park Streamers uh, is raising $5,000 for the Children's Hospital of Orange County. If you'd like to um, support them uh, financially or just by sharing out their meme, uh, their um, link, that would be wonderful. Um, I was trying to uh, look and see uh, how much they've raised so far. They're at uh, $3,516 toward their uh, $5,000 goal. They started at $500, then they went to $1,000, then they went to $3,000, and now they are, their goal is $5,000. It's in July, so you have plenty of time. Like I say, if you can't donate, so, uh, donate or you already have donated, go ahead and share this link uh, to all your social media sites. Um, And also, like I said, my build stream will be today, today at 1 p.m., not Thursday, but today. Um, so hopefully we're going to finish that stream, that build. I have done a couple impromptu builds to get some of the base done. If you look here, this is where I'm at on the build. I built all this gray part here and the two waterfalls on uh, build streams. Um, about three. I did a couple with Dad Man, and I did another one yesterday. Um, so we are now working on the top of the of the build. So I'm excited about that. So hopefully we will get that done. It is now puzzle time, everybody. Bum bum bum, puzzle time. And here it is. And I will remove the banner to make it easier to see. I will move myself here to make it bigger. And let me remove this upper thing so you can see it better. Um, so let's go ahead and do our puzzles. You know what I forgot to get? I forgot to get, um, <laughs> I pulled the book out and I looked at it, but I forgot to get the celebrations for today. Because I'm a little, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm a little scattered today. Who knows? Um, who, who knows? I will be doing a stream tomorrow morning. I will not be doing uh, morning musings on Friday or Saturday. So uh, my next morning musings after tomorrow's stream will be on Sunday. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let's get everything going here. We are going to do the daily sequence puzzle, which I think everyone that's here um, knows about. So let's go ahead and to get going. A-D-I-E-U. I, well, let's make sure we can type here. A-D-I-E-U. Adieu. And it has absolutely no letters in it. So let's try S P O R T sport. And it has that has an O and an R in it. So let's go from there and try to figure out what this word could be. Um, huh. B R O. There's no T in it either. Hmm. Let's try groan. Okay, the R goes there and the O goes there. This does not look promising, guys. I might need some help here. One thing I will say about getting all of these letters checked out in the beginning. 
Um, um, I'm getting a text in the middle of the show. Um, groan. Uh, it's not groan. It can't be crowned because it can't have the WN. Can't be uh, froth because we have no T. It could be. Does anyone have any ideas? Um. I'm not very positive about this uh, puzzle today, but uh, let's look at our first uh, celebration. I get my information from daysoftheyear.com, nationalday.com, and nationaldaycalendar.com. So uh, today is Erase National Erase Self Negativity Day, <laughs> National Day Calendar. Some people think speaking negatively to themselves is a way for them to identify their downfalls or shortcomings and move forward. Even though we may believe negative, negative self-talk is reasonable and a harmless thing to do, this type of behavior can significantly damage self-esteem over time. We are here to tell you speaking neg negatively to ourselves is a habit, a bad habit. The good news is we can begin to erase that habit of negative self-talk by starting today by being positive about ourselves. So, um, when you do, when you make a mistake, don't say, oh, I'm so stupid. Just go, oh, I made a mistake. And we can do that. Um, and this, I just don't know what this word is. So, I'm going to try frock. Because I have no other idea what the final two letters could be. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. We're running out of letters. Does anybody have any idea? <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um B R O I have no idea what this word is. Oh, could it be O R O B R O O broom? Very good, Dad man. Let's see if it's broom. It is broom, everybody. Yay! This next one has a P E A C with we don't know what the other letter is. It cannot be peace. Because C is in the fourth spot. I thought peace right away too, sci-fi. But there's a C in the fourth spot that it cannot be. So, um, World Baton Twirling Day. Days of the Year says, experience the mesmerizing artistry of a, this ryth rhythmic performance where precision and flair intertwine in captivating displays of movement. To raise awareness for and draw attention to the artistic sport of baton twirling, World Baton Twirling Day is here. And it's Global Work From Home Day. Remote work is not a new concept and it existed long before the digital age, but the Industrial Revolution saw an increased number of people working collectively in offices, warehouses, and other places. Getting up early in the morning and commuting to work to spend at least nine hours became the norm. So when more and more people started choosing jobs that gave them the ability to work from home and the digitization of jobs became widespread, it all created a frenzy around remote working. Cheap, cheap, cheap. 
C H E A P. I believe you are correct. That's what I would have picked. And Dadman said he loved working from home. So we have got the second word. And now it has an S at the beginning. There's a T and an I. And um, we don't know what. It's National Farm Animals Days, everybody. National Farm Animals Day. So, uh, Dadman says he loves working from home. And uh, Snort Poopa says, I think that was in reference to the Grant comment earlier. Um, where Dadman said, I'm like Grant around Petersburg, LOL. And um, Snort Poopa says, does that mean you're setting off mines and blowing big holes? Um, in the ground, and Sci-Fi says, I am a telecommuter. I love it. I've done it for 10 years. I think it's cool um, if you could work at home. So National Farm Animals Day. National Farm Animals Day focuses attention on the humane care of farm animals. The day also aims to find homes for abandoned and abused farm animals. A variety of animals have been domesticated and raised on farms for food. They provide eggs, milk, cheese, meat, wool, leather, and other products. Most farmers raise their livestock responsibly, providing a quality environment for them to grow. Benefits the animal and the farmer, too. Farmers invest in their livestock from the time they're born, providing nutritious food and ensuring robust and healthy development. They also provide ideal conditions for their breed. Farmers are continually educating themselves about the livestock they raise so they can provide them with the best care possible. However, some people do abuse and neglect their animals. When poor conditions are discovered and animals are malnourished, it is essential to report the case to a veterinary for review. And we have Bucky Crafting saying, I'm going to be lurking while I get around to run some errands. Well, thank you so much for lurking today. And Damon says, uh, No, that would have been burn siding it. Grant, in terms of bulldogging and not resting until the job is done. And Damon says, Hello to Bucky. And Sword of Poop says, I'm eating some hot dogs. Does that count as finding a home for a fine animal? Farm animal. Sure. Yes. So what word do we think this is? I have a guess. Does anybody have any idea? Yes, I believe it is still. That is my... Nope, it can't be still. Because apparently there's a letter. Oh, the I. The I. Golly gee. This is... So, uh, I thought still, but there's an I in the third spot that uh, was saying no. S. I wonder if it could be this. Yes, I missed that too. Want to try silty? I don't have any other guess. Let's see if it's silty. It was silty. This one has only one space left, which is cloak. This one has a rd we don't know where they go and an ile in the middle international day of pink the international day of pink is set up as an international day against bullying discrimination homophobia transphobia and transmisogamy in cities and towns all across the world on this day everyone is invited to celebrate diversity by wearing a pink shirt and by organizing activities in their workplaces schools and communities in support of the day the idea of wearing pink came from um, some high school students in Canada who saw someone being bullied for wearing, a boy being bullied for wearing a pink shirt. So they went out and bought a bunch of pink t-shirts, handed them out to the, the people and told asked them to wear pink shirts to support um, the victim of that bullying. And it has grew. It has grown into a international um, event. So wear pink against bullying anybody. And we have riled, riled from Becky's crafting, and we have 
Uh, ba -ba -ba. Corey Cochran, hello to you. And it was riled. And now we have a P and L, a U-S. Uh, we don't know where any of them belong. Um, so we know that the, I don't know, the U is not at the end. The P is not at the end. The L is not in the second and third. And the S is not in the first. Let's see if we can figure out that word. Salvation Army Founders Day National Today says the Salvation Army is an international charitable organization and part of the Universal Christian Church. The Salvation Army offers various services worldwide, including emergency response and social work. One of its missions is to meet human needs without discrimination. Founded by William Booth in 1865, the Salvation Army has spread from London to many parts of the world and is now working in 132 countries with millions of members. The Salvation Army. P. Pulps. That might be. I can't. I, can't, I really can't think of any other word that it might be. So, um... Let's check that out. I've got these clothes pins that are really cool. And I'm getting up. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my throat today. I'm getting hot. So I'm using them to hold my hair up. <laughs> I'm so silly. So let's try pulps. Pulps. P U L P. Oh, nope. Can't be. The L can't be in that spot there. The third. Oh my gosh. S F. I have no idea what this word is. And the L can't be in the second spot. And the Q is not at the beginning. Q-U, because there's no other vowel. Q-U-L-P-S. That's, no, that's not a word. Thank you, Dad, man. Let's see if it's this word. Lupus. <clears throat> With two U's. Excuse me for my throat today, everybody. Lupus. Yes, it is lupus. And then we have a B at the beginning, a T in the fourth spot, and then an A-S-E. Does anyone have an idea what this word is? I have an idea. Give you guys a second to see if you could figure it out. I'm slowing down on my uh, celebrations because we don't have that many of them. And I'll run out before the uh, <laughs> the puzzle ends. Which sometimes is not a bad idea because they um, they get easier as they go. This one is in honor of Bucky's crafting. It, I'm going to say it is based. Based. Something you do to hold two uh, pieces of fabric together temporarily. Based. It's also what you can do to uh, meat in the oven. Putting juices over it to keep it moist. So it was based. And then we have an R at the beginning, an E at the end, and an O-U-G in the middle. National Cinnamon Crescent Day today. It's time to fill the home with warmth. This is from National Day Calendar, by the way. It's time to fill the home with warmth on National Cinnamon Crescent Day. Each year, the pastry holiday causes mouth-watering excitement. The crescent-shaped dough is filled with sugar, cinnamon, and butter, then rolled, shaped, and baked to a golden 
brown deliciousness. You can add icing for an extra sweet touch. While they are, they are amazing served piping hot from the oven, these rolls also taste delicious once they have cooled down. So don't hesitate to make extra because they will not last long. I bet they would not. So does anybody have a guess for what this word is? Starts with an R. O-U-G-E, rogue. Rogue. Good morning. Hello, Sue B720. Crescent rolls for the victory. Yes. I was just, as I was looking, I said, man, you know what? I could buy some of those, um, the, um, you know, the frozen, um, not the frozen, the refrigerated rolls, the ones that are the crescent rolls, actually, and uh, don't have to make the dough and just put the butter and sugar and cinnamon and roll them up and bake them. Oh my gosh, that would be so good. I wish I had some of them. I'd make them. Yes, it's breakfast. That would be a lovely breakfast. So um, let's see. I've lost where I'm at on here. Um, and Mr. Angel, hello, was already here, but phone call prevented to say hi. Well, hello to you. So let's figure out what this word is. It starts with an S. There's a CA in the middle and then an RE at the end. So I think we don't have that many choices. So I am going to attempt and say scare. So scare. And then we have oh a B at the beginning, a blank then an L-A, and then a blank, and we have a Y and a W. <laughs> and I kept, in my brain, doing it the wrong way, going, that's not a word. And I'm like, well, switch the letters. And I, my brain was not switching the letters. <laughs> and once I switched the letters, I went, oh, yes, that is a word. That is a word. National Hug Your Dog Day. Days of the Year says dog lovers probably don't really need an excuse to uh, show their pooches how much they are loved and cared for. But National Hug Your Dog Day is here to act as a reminder for the folks who may have gotten a little busy and let their care for their pup wane a bit. This day brings an important opportunity to stop taking that dog for granted and give a little more intentional love to the loyal and furry fellow. So hug your dog today. And bylaw, yes, bylaw. This one has a S at the beginning, an I in the middle, and an E. And then there's a P in the end. So it can either be snipe, which I believe is a word, or spine. So which one do you guys want me to do? Snipe or spine? Whoever types in the first suggestion is the one I'm going to use. Snipe or spine? Snipe or spine? Snipe or spine? It's 30 minutes into the show, 1030 in my neck of the woods. And uh, just as a uh, reminder, I am doing my build stream today at 1 p.m. instead of tomorrow. Because after the show tomorrow, I am leaving uh to go to a family member's house and i will not be back until saturday so after tomorrow's morning stream i will not be streaming until uh, my next stream will be sunday my next scheduled stream so um but it, it is slang but it could be a the word so let's see um it was snipe yay and this one we have um only one letter this one we have only one letter this one we have all these letters and only a y at the end uh, e r d and b
National Day, he says, it is also World Homeopathy Day. This day aims at ma- marking the importance of homeo- homeopathy. It's homeopathy. World Homeopathy Day. I knew I was pronouncing it wrong. World Homeopathy Day. This day aims at marking the importance of homeopathy and its contributions to traditional medicine. This day also honors the memory of Dr. Christian Frederick Samuel Hanneman, the founder of homeopathy. Samuel Hanneman was born in 1755 and grew up in Messin, Messin in Germany. He received his medical degree in Erlangen in 1779. Homeopathy comes from the words homeo and pathos. Uh, Homeo means similar and pathos means suffering or disease. Homeopathy remedies are made with natural ingredients since they come from plants, minerals, or animals. So we have Derby. Uh, Thought that snipe was also a fish. Well, let's look that up. And thank you for the uh, safe wishes. Yes, a snipe is a wading bird of marshes and wet meadows with brown camouflage plumage and long straight bill. So a snipe is a bird. Dad men said fish. Um, no, it is a bird. But that's close. A bird that's in the water. So we have Derby, D-E-R, from Mr. Angel. Um... And it was Derby. We have a P and H. We don't know where they go. Oh, you're taking a break to pick a dandelion uh, or, to, or to get rid of them. Some people consider dandelions bad because they spread really, really fast. I think dandelions are pretty. Uh, Dad says, uh, uh, Mr. Angel goes, a flying fish. <laughs> um, and, uh, Sue B is taking a break to pick dandelions. Uh, and Dad says, okay, it's a bird. I thought I heard of it. Still, it's lunch for snorter poopers. And sci-fi mommy says perch, which I believe it is. And then we have an F-R-E, an F-R blank E, and then a Y. So I'm not really sure what this word is. I could type in some letters and just guess. Uh, National Siblings Day. Uh, National Day calendar says siblings, they are best friends or our worst enemies. At times, siblings will provide us with our biggest competition, strongest encouragement, and remind us of our most embarrassing moments. Fictional characters describe those siblings best who are both rivals and yet friends. Uh, from the Brady Bunch to the Cosby family to the Simpsons and the Pearsons, television siblings tell our story in humorous and dramatic form. Friar. Friar. F R Y E R. Very good. Friar. Then we have a P R I with a blank and a Y. Um, I think I know what this one is. It is also International Safety Pin Day, everybody. International Safety Pin Day. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, from days of the year. Celebrate all things simple and practical on this International Safety Pin Day. Strong and sharp, yet safe enough to be used on clothing. Safety pins are a simple yet ingenious invention, which practically everyone has used at some point. Certainly such an incredibly functional creation deserves its day in the sun. An International Safety Day is just a time to show appreciation for the little things that are usually taken for granted in life. International Safety Pin Day. We have Privy. And then we have Straw. We have only one letter. And Brink is all completely figured out. Then we have an 
blank and O, a blank and A and a D with an N and an M as their letters. Uh, National Encourage a Young Writer Day. National Day Calendar says, do you know a young person who has a vivid imagination? Maybe someone who likes to tell stories and reads lots of books? These may be the signs of a great young writer. National Encourage a Young Writer Day would be a good time to talk to them about their ideas and dreams. Encourage them to pursue their goals and develop their writing skills. He has had, he has his safety of his pen. Uh, Mr. Angel says, take him out, boys. <laughs> and Bucky has guessed Nomad. It is Nomad. This one is Prude. This one is Stayed. We only have one letter left. Uh, this one is a B-I. Then there's a G-H and then a T at the end. So this one bite, plunk, and then oiler. These are all the letters that have already been used. This one has an N at the beginning. I'm sorry, an N in the second spot, an E in the third spot, and then there is a D and an I. We don't know where they go. Uh, <laughs> We have, as it, Mr. Ernst says, don't make me do it. And he has pins and balloons. He has balloons. Sorry, everybody. I'm trying to figure out this word. E. And Mr. Angel tells us uh, Snorter Poop is it's pretzel day. And Snorter Poop is like, oh, yum, 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 yum. I'll have a nice West Mall Trapel with those. Mm, I have no idea what this word is. I have no idea what this word is. We have an N. I have no idea what this word is, anybody. Anybody help here? We have an N in the second, an E in the fourth, and there's a D and an I in it. The D cannot be at the end. The I cannot be in the third spot. D, so I, N, I guess the D cannot be in the first spot either. Nope. So it has an A and N, the E and D, E. Oh, oh my gosh. Index. Uh, the D could not be in the last spot. Or ended was a good word. That's okay. This one took me a while. I had to kind of look and see where the um, what I was doing was looking and seeing where the letters could not be, and the I could not be there. And I just didn't think the I would be at the end, so I put that at the beginning. 
And then I went, okay, the D cannot be at the end, so it has to be here. So then when I kind of got it out, um, I kind of figured it, it, this out was a hard one. So index. Uh, we have Q, Hannah Balkin Gaming. Hello, how are you? Yes, and happy Wednesday to you. This one we have candy. And then we have seg. And then we have stilt, because we only have one letter left. And we also have Hannah Balking Gaming over on the Twitch side. Good morning to you. And then we have booty. And then we have by you. So we have completed this puzzle. Um, we have the green screen. Yay! Uh, we completed it a little early. Um, I do have a stream at 1 o'clock. So um, I don't mind ending a little early so I can get me some uh, brunch and um, get ready for that build because I am going to try to finish it today. This is where we're at in the, um, the build. So um, doing pretty good. Um, so got all the bottom done. Did this base up here is going to be the second layer. So uh, did all the kind of boring stuff on an impromptu streams uh, on streams when I was talking with dad and his chat, dad man with his chats. Um, so, yes, so that is where we're at with that. And yes, I know you have to trust me that it is green. Um, I, that's what I'm telling you. Yes, it is green. We have broom, cheat, silty, cloak, riled, lupus based, rogue, scare, bylaw, snipe, clank, third, derby, perch, friar, privy, straw, brink, nomad, prude, stayed, bite, plunk, oiler, layup, index, candy, seg, stilt, booty, and buy you. So, yes, we had completed it. Um, so yay, very, very good. Um, we have one last celebration that is Golfer's Day. Days of the Year says on Golfer's Day, we celebrate not the game itself, but the men and women who play it, even the lowliest duffer who shanks their balls all the way into the jungle. Clearly, the best way to celebrate is to hit the links yourself, but that not always be an option. So you can opt for a video game version of golf, or you can go to, um, they have those uh, screen golfs that you can do also. Um, yes, it uh, was a quick puzzle today. Um once we got that one word, it kind of fell in place. And um, I kind of um, also um, didn't dilly-dally uh, as much as I might have always. We didn't have a lot of celebrations to talk about. And I have a show a little later. Um, so I do want to get ready for that also. And, and again, Lisa. Again, no Lisa, our golfer, LOL. So, yes, but it is time now for, you guessed it, golf memes. Something memeingful. So, what could that meme be? Hmm, what could the first one be? Let's see. When your buddy drive starts heading for that house with all the big windows. Hmm. That's why I don't play golf. Because mine would uh, head for the windows.
Sorry, I muted myself. Uh, where did you not hear me? When did you stop? Thank you, Bucky, for coming by. When did you stop hearing me? Deadman, what was the last part, uh, last comment you made that you heard me? Yes, that is golfing. About a minute ago. Oh, wow. It's been that uh, that long. So let's see. Let's go back here. Okay, we're just going to start back here and we're going to do this. We're going to go backwards and we'll do our memes over again. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. So, wow. Seems like a quick puzzle today. But, but once we got one word, it all fell into place. Yes, it did. And yes, no Lisa for golfing today. Lisa is our golfer. And Mr. Angel says, how is your golf game going, Mr. A? Great. Only 209 over par today. I'm getting better. I did hit an eagle, but apparently it's a protected bird. So I should stop that. And uh, fix the sound. And uh, Bucky, uh, you have a uh, good day today. Have fun with all those errands you have to do. And we have Penny with uh, golfers and windows, yes, which is our first meme here, which I showed a little earlier, but I wasn't talking, <laughs> or I was, but you wasn't hearing me. So here we go. <laughs> when your buddies drive, start heading for that house with all the big windows. Um, yes. So, <laughs> yeah, like I said, which you probably heard, it seems like what Dadman said. But, uh, yeah, who in their right mind would have a house on the on the golf course with a bazillion windows in it? Of course, if they can afford a house on the golf course, they probably don't care and their insurance will cover it. If a bear eats your golf ball, do you take a penalty or does it count as a free drop? Penalty, man. No mercy in golf. I played golf once. I shot 90. I went home after three holes. <laughs> that would be one hole for me. One hole for me. Chuck Norris shot 10 under par at Augusta without getting out of the golf cart. Where is stunning? Put a Chuck Norris meme in just for him. I will never get these earth games. You hit a birdie, eagle, or albatross, and everybody else at the club starts staring at you as if you are weird. Just follow the just following the rules here. Yes. Uh, bear versus gator on the fairway. Yep, we have gators. Yes, we'll have to tell him later. Have to tell Stunning later about uh, that meme. I invented a golf ball that automatically goes in the hole if it comes within one foot. Just don't carry them in your back pocket. Could be interesting. And Snorter Poop is albatross. Albatross. Golfers should always wear two pairs of pants in case they get a hole in one. But um bump. <laughs> a hole in one. Rules state uh, that it must be played where it lands. So open up that mouth. I am not losing another par. <laughs> so Snorter Poopus, I would not recommend eating any of Mr. Angel's golf balls, at least. <laughs> oh, thank you, Benny, for the laughter. Oh, in my opinion, the game of golf should not be measured by the distance you hit the ball, but by the distance you throw the club after each shot. 
Oh, I would win then. <laughs> Probably make a hole in one with the club. <laughs> hole in one. Hole one. Feeling good. Hole two. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> I'd feel like this. I'd feel like hole two in hole one because, um, yeah, I'm. Uh, a snorter poop has injured him myself. Says I injured myself using a ball washer at the golf club. I was also fined for indecent exposure. And uh, yes, club tossing. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, you probably sh shouldn't get your kiss your golf trophy in public. <gasps> oh, that trophy should be fine for indecent exposure. <sighs> Did they not think when they made this design? I know f uh, face fronting, it's, you know, doesn't look like that, but. Yeah. Yes, and sort of poop is my. That's a big one. <laughs> yes. A weekend golfer. What society thinks I do? What my wife thinks I do? <laughs> Let's see. What society thinks I do? What my wife thinks I do? It's wasting money. What I think I do is being like a pro golfer. And what I actually do is fish out my golf balls from the lake. Yep. Yep. Oh. That moment when you see your boss on the golf course after calling in sick. Or you're at a golf uh, match like the TPC. And uh, your boss sees you on camera after you've called in sick. So the Players' Championship. Yep. Don't go to a televised event if you call in sick. A beer, a hole, they said. It will be fun, they said. <laughs> Uh, I do know some people say that golfing is just a side thing. The real reason you're there is to drink. The point of golf is to play the least amount of golf possible. That's true. So do you really get your money's worth? Inquiring minds would like to know. This is how a golfer plays pool. <laughs> yes, we struggle not to call theme park casual TPC because of the players tournament. That is so true. A uh, snorter poop is, I love that. I'll just wait in the clubhouse while the rest of you golf. Maximum effort for minimal gains. Perfect. Yep, that's golf. What I think my swing looks like. <laughs> what my swing actually looks like. <sighs> oh, yep. When you hit the perfect shot a day too late. I didn't realize they moved the holes in golf. But uh, I guess they do. But that would suck. <laughs> if you were just here yesterday, you would have gotten a hole in one. Uh, you're drawing a golf chick with a big butt. Good morning, everyone. Hello, and hello, Tina the Naughty Dragon. How are you? 
I don't know if I've seen you over here before. Welcome to the channel. Um, this is our puzzle stream edition of Morning Musings. We did a puzzle earlier and uh, talked about some celebrations and doing some memes. I am going to be doing um, today at 1 p.m. is going to be actually be, able to be my build stream. I'm going to hopefully finish the Sakura house. I did a little work um, on impromptu impromptu streams uh, to build the base because it was just so boring. So now we're at the top part, um, and that is today instead of tomorrow at 1 p.m. That was a schedule change. So, um, yeah, let's see what is our next meme. I don't always play golf, but when I do, I drink too much. And Dama says, oh, waiter, my polar bear friend and me need a refill. Do you have some human burgers on the menu? Bring two, please. Oh, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me see if I can find that meme again. Here you go, stunning. Chuck Norris shot 10 under par at Augusta without even getting out of the golf cart. <laughs> that one I thought of you studying. I says, oh my goodness, I got to put that one in. So, yes, uh, that was, uh, yeah, <laughs> golf, I don't get golf. Uh, why is everyone at the club staring at us, snorter poopus? Never, uh, they've never seen a polar bear and alien playing a round of golf? And something's like, noise. And uh, Jerry Minoza, hello to you. Uh, Tina says, mmm, humans taste like chicken. And yes, to Tina, we have bears, cats, rabbits, all kinds of wildlife here. Um, yep, we have the, um, killer rabbit, snorter poopus bears, aliens. And snorter poopus says, says the talking dragon. And it's like, I talk because I'm magical. Yes, magical creatures can talk. Absolutely. When you hit a ball into the woods and walk out with five more, yes. Uh, we also have sexy robots. Who could that be? Who is that? Wait, where? Who is? Whoops, wait a second. Um, the chat is moving too fast. The old high earth sign word for human translates as tastes like pork, but not as smart. <laughs> and Sunning says we also have sexy robots. Who's the sexy robot? Who? Huh? How stunning? Who could that be? Uh, Dad, man, time to dress up in that unicorn skin, I guess. It's 7 p.m. tonight. 7 p.m. tonight, we will be in our unicorn skins playing Fortnite in honor of National Unicorn Day, which was yesterday, which we were going to do the stream yesterday, but because of extenuating circumstances, we could not. So we are doing it today. Um, yes, and Dadman says, we have unicorns. So, yes, and Dadman is absolutely, uh, it's time to dress in that unicorn. Why did you just go home? That's your home. I love that line. <laughs> I know some people hate Adam Sandler. I think he's so stupid that he makes me laugh. Even though he kind of plays the same character. Loch Ness is greater than the unicorn. Yes, we proved that in a poll, did we not, yesterday. But um, unicorns, uh, unicorn horns make great toothpicks. 
And Dadman says, please be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Or make sure you're still subbed to the channel. Yes, please do. We're an hour into this show. It is 11 o'clock in my neck of the woods. And we have 14 people watching. Well, wow, thank you very much for that. Uh, we have 12 on YouTube. And how many likes do we have? I have to renew my screen for that. We have 12 likes. Yay! It's even. And we have uh, two people over on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching over there. Um, Let's see. Is that the last one or not? We'll see. Yep, that was our last meme. So it just needs to go home. Just go home. This is a probably going to be a fairly short stream, it seems like. Uh, but that's not a bad thing today. Usually my streams run about uh, around an hour and a half. Um, the puzzle today was... Uh, once we got going was fairly easy. We didn't have that many celebrations to talk about. And our memes are over. So um, I don't know what else to do. We'll finish the chat. I like that crunchy horn part. Yes, that crunchy horn part is very, very good, I've heard. I've heard, there's, I've heard they say that there is magical properties to a unicorn horn. Uh, you crush it up and uh, it uh, can do some magical things. But I've never tried, so I don't know. And it tastes like, what is that? Oh, peanuts. It tastes like peanuts. Mm, try making a unicorn horn uh, butter, like peanut butter. Mm, very good. Very good. So, um, everybody, I think th oh, that <laughs> we're having a really short show today. Um, we have Emily Gangadine and Sammy the Golden. Hello. Hello, Emily. How are you today? Uh, to let you guys know, at 1 p.m., I am going to be building, uh, completing, or hopefully completing this build. It's really cool. It's got lights on it. Let me see if I can turn on the lights and you guys can see them. So there's some lights for the waterfalls. Oh, well, they really do kind of look like the water is streaming. So I thought that was kind of a cool feature. Um, I finished that. I did on some impromptu streams. I built this beautiful gray uh, part of the uh, build so that um, the second part can fit on top of it. Yes, a unicorn horn equals an aphrodisiac so if you find any unicorns dad man beware uh, i will be finishing this today at 1 p.m today at 1 p.m not tomorrow that the slide says but today oops i took myself off the screen meant to hit stop camera um it's is um it is a schedule change um so i think to get ready for that to um um to get ready for the stream at at, at one and to be able to get some breakfast and uh kind of get myself situated here i think i'm going to start uh, wrapping up the show um, you can watch that man says you can watch the replay, but, uh, Emily says it's not the same though. It really is not the same, but if you would like to, uh, see any of the shows, if you do miss them, uh, and want to uh, catch up, go ahead and watch them. Um, uh, I still, I still hope they're funny in the way, in the, um, in their own way. And we have Snow to Poop is saying hello, and Emily saying Dead Man. And uh, in regards to this comment, Dead Man says that's why they're magical. And Snow to Poop says it didn't do the unicorn much good. <laughs> uh, and Tina says I shouldn't be talking like this. My adoptive sister is a unicorn yes yeah but you know it's siblings day and so you know you can 
you love them, you love them, but you pick on them. You know what I, I always say? I says, you, you cannot call my sibling a jackass. You're not allowed to do that. But I can because they're my sibling. <laughs> So, so yes, siblings, there's a very interesting relationship between them. Um, I do agree totally on that. Um, so, but, uh, yes, um, I was going to comment on something, uh, but, but, but didn't do the unicorn any good. Uh, I think it went out of my brain. Um, and Dadman says, I agree. There's nothing like a lot like a live show, Emily. But Mrs. will be live at 1 o'clock. Plus, Mrs. and I will be live for our channel at 7 p.m. Yes. I'm going to try to find that. Um, I think I saved that meme somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Da -de -da. Da -de -da. I'm going to share this. Uh, where would it be? So let me get this here so we can share this properly. I couldn't really do it when the puzzle was was uh, was there. So yes, everybody. Tonight, it says Tuesday, but it is tonight at 7 p.m. We are having some Fortnite fun. We are celebrating National Unicorn Day with Dad Man Walking 55 and me on his channel. Uh, that is tonight um, on YouTube at Dad Man Walking 55. Thank you, Stunning, for putting that link in. Uh, so uh, we go over there and check it out. We are going to be having just a bunch of unicorn fun, uh, eating our unicorn flakes. Dad may might get a unicorn cake, unicorn ice cream. We're just going to go crazy. Uh, there's going to be just mayhem ensuing all over the place. So join us tonight at 7 p.m. on Dad Man's channel, Dad Man Walking 55. I am, let's see, where am I at on my subs? I am at Boinky Bink, 217 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. Um, I'm trying to get monetized. I'm almost, well, Damon says I'm almost halfway there. Uh, no, I, no, I, 250 is halfway there, and I'm only at 217. When I get to about 240, I'll be almost halfway there. But I'm getting there. I'm getting closer and closer. So if you're watching the channel and like it, heck, even if you don't like it, if you could subscribe to me, I'd appreciate it a lot. So, um, please, like and subscribe. All that to say, yes, please like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yes, this will be tonight at um, 7 p.m. So, um, <laughs> I've stretched the show to an hour and 10 minutes. I don't really know what else to say, but thank you all for being here, all 12 of you. I appreciate it so much. Um, and uh, I hope to see you at 1 p.m. for my build. If you can't make that, I hope to see you at 7 p.m. on Dead Man's channel uh, when we celebrate National Unicorn Day. If I don't see you then, I hope to see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. for Morning Musings. Uh, so, okie doke. Uh, remember, uh, help support Team Park streamers as they raise $5,000 for the Children's Hospital of Orange County. If you've already donated or cannot donate, if you could share the link around uh, to get the uh, this information out, that would be fantastic and a great way to support. Also, today, today at 1 p.m., I am going to be doing the blog party. I'm going to be hopefully finishing the top part of this build. Uh, we will see. Um, also, I do blocking out the boredom. I'm bored, so let's build something. I did a uh, impromptu stream yesterday to build the base. 
of the um, set because it was boring and I didn't really want to waste a lot of time on that. So I did it um, on, on impromptu stream. Enjoyed talking to everybody that was there. Um, I also uh, did it on a couple streams with Dadman while he was doing chill chats. Uh, so all of those will be on a playlist for, for this build um, on my channels. You can check out Twix and Threads to find out when those streams happen. Sometimes you have 10 minutes notice, but everybody who comes uh, is supposed to be there. And then I have my morning musings with Mrs. Dadman walking Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. and Sunday at 1 p.m. We have puzzle editions on Wednesday and the weekend. That being said, I am going to do my show tomorrow. After tomorrow, I have. I have some place I'm going to go with my family. So I will not be doing streams on Friday or Saturday. Not the morning musings, not my scheduled streams. After that, I will be back on Sunday doing my scheduled stream. So I hope to see you guys on Sunday. Left or right, miss? Oh, well, you... uh. Throw some of that gold my way. I would appreciate it, Tina. Um, but you have a good day. Left or right? I don't understand what that means. And uh, you have a great day too, Mr. Angel. My P.O. Box address. You can check out my info page for that address, uh, which is on my YouTube and Twitch site. Oh, you said Twix. <laughs> I say Twix because someone, it's a, a combination of Twitter and X. Instead of saying X, formerly known as Twitter, or just X, because I think that sounds stupid, I mix them up together and call them Twix. Uh, Castle, our friend, uh, gave us that name. He heard it from someone, and uh, I uh, stole it to use. Um, and I thank him for sharing with us because I think it's kind of a fun fun name. Uh, so yes, you can check out my P.O. Box on my info pages. You can also so support me through Kofi and Throne, Kofi's Donations, Throne's Gifts at Mrs. Dadman Walking 55. Here are some of the gift builds I have gotten there under my uh, playlist called Gift Builds and my collections on Twitch. Both of them called Gift Builds. Uh, thank everybody for these wonderful gifts. They were fun and tina's like my precious and dad man's like watch out for those greedy dwarfs tina and mr angel is like ring rings rings yes jules and goodbye Subi. you have a wonderful day uh i will talk to you later and see you soon uh those that don't know Subi 720 is my mom and we have live streams and VODs, YouTube at Mrs. Dadman Walking 55, Twitch, Mrs. Dadman Walking, no punctuation, no numbers. And you can check out my streaming schedule um, on Twix at M. Dadman Walking. I have a Threads also, but I do not put my streaming schedules on it uh, because I don't know how to set up um, a future um, accounts, future uh, posts. But I, I will look at it one day and figure it out. So it is 1.14 into the show. 11.14 in my neck of the woods, which is the east coast of the United States. And I am going to say to you all, see you next time. Hopefully at 1 o'clock. Um, if not, I hope to see you tonight uh, um, or tomorrow morning i hope to see you soon and uh mr angel says the one ring nothing my replicator can't fix get your ma magical ring here's four dollars and 99 cents only or is that 499 dollars mm. decimal decimal points matter <laughs> so i will see you guys next time and remember to be kind to show love and remember you're not promised tomorrow so go to bed each night with no regrets. And most of all, I wish you all peace. Have a good good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever.
whatever it is, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.